to simplify. Um, I'm trying to make things a little more straightforward. I am trying to make things um, more user-friendly. That's a never-ending story. Um, I am trying to continue to um, explore some of the places where we can interject good information um, into the publishing process. So the things I'm doing inside of PsychCrunch now include um, automating some of the ways that um, the uh, editors interact with authors about our IDs. Um, I'm trying to create text mining tools that would um, do some of this work automatically. We're having a little bit of success and a little bit of not success. Um, once those tools are ready, we will go to journals and say, hey, would you like to save time? Um, we're trying to find information about bad antibodies. We're trying to find information about bad cell lines and uh, incomplete knockout animals and all of these other things. We're trying to enrich the data set that we have about these different kinds of, of things. We're trying to go out and uh, find all the papers that have used a particular mouse, a particular antibody, a particular cell line, and we're trying to bring them together into one umbrella. Have we succeeded? No. <laughs> but we're, we're moving forward. We're definitely moving forward. So with cell lines, we do a pretty good job, and it's because we're not doing it. It's the ICLAC consortium um, that actually does it. But we want to do the same thing for antibodies. We want to do some of the same things for some of the organisms. And some of the organism repositories do a really good job at this, and some don't. So we want to fill the gap where, um, where those, uh, those organizations are not doing that particular work. So um, again, we think with the identifiers that get published out in papers, this part becomes easier. Um, but you know, there's a lot of work to be done in this space. And what we want to do is we really want to make this part of science better. We want to mainly make sure that the authors that are really trying to do a good job here, they get recognized. They, um, you know, they have better statistics on their papers. And I would love to be able to institute a score that instead of the impact factor, you would have a how good is my research factor, right? How solid are these conclusions factor? It would be a little bit different. It's what I would like to see is how good is my science factor? Um, impact factor for me is something that means I'm popular. It's nice to be popular. But as scientists, we shouldn't strive for popularity, right? We should strive for better science. And so I would love to be able to create an impact factor, but for good science instead of popularity. <laughs>